Hi everybody, welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I have a story for you tonight about a bunny who's a little upset with us. And I don't understand why. But this book is called, You're Finally Here! You're finally here. This is about a bunny who's been waiting for us to read his book. And he's really happy to see us, but then he just doesn't understand what's taking us so long to get here. I'm not sure what this bunny's expecting of us, but we need to get inside this book so we can find out why it's important that we're finally here. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up, because here we go. You're finally here, written and illustrated by Melanie Watt. Hooray! You're here! You're here! You're finally here, shouts the bunny, who's so happy that we're finally here. But where were you? asks the bunny, who looks a little annoyed. Do you know how long I've been waiting in here? Long enough to watch paint dry. Long enough to find a needle on a haystack. So, not what I wanted to find. And long enough to learn an accordion solo and a one and a two and a one, two, three. Long enough to gather dust bunnies. That one looks just like my Uncle Vinny. Oh no, he did wait a very long time for us. Do you know how bored I get when I'm waiting? Bored. Very bored. Very, very bored. Bored up to my ears. He got bored while he was waiting for us. It took us a long time to get here. Oops. I guess we got off on the wrong foot. I think I should try this again. Hooray! The right foot. You're here. You're here. You're finally here. Oh good. Now we're just celebrating that we're here. But seriously, where were you? Oh no, he just can't let this go. Do you know how unfair it is to keep me waiting? As unfair as getting picked last. Come on, over here, me! The one with the eyebrows, pick me! As unfair as having to go to bed when I'm not tired. As unfair as having to eat Brussels sprouts. As unfair as being too short to go on a ride. Do you know how annoying it is to have to wait? As annoying as wearing an itchy sweater. As annoying as have a song stuck in my head. La 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 la, don't want to be all by myself anymore. As annoying as having toilet paper stuck on my foot. As annoying as a pet rock. Sit, fetch, roll over. Pet rocks don't do anything. Do you know how rude it is to make me wait? Oh my. As rude as talking with my mouth full, blah, 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 blah. As rude as sticking gum under the sofa, ew, don't do that. As rude as running on the carpet with muddy feet, moms don't like that. As rude as making faces behind someone's back, that is rude. Where were you all this time? The bunny wants to know where we've been. Oops, um, that was awkward. Okay, I promise to start asking where you've been. If you promise to stay, he just wants us to never leave again. If you stay, I'll know exactly where you are. I'll have your undivided attention. I'll spend every second of the day with you. I'll never have to wait for you again. Come on, let's put it in writing. He wants us to sign a contract. Contract. This document states that you, the reader, that's us, hereby agree to stay with me, the bunny, the book character of your final year, forever and ever and ever. You, the reader, promise to devote all your time and attention exclusively to me, the bunny. You, the reader, therefore agree never to keep me, the bunny, waiting again. And oh yes, you, the reader, will provide me, the bunny, with carrot treats every day. Oh my, so we have to stay and we have to bring him carrot treats. So, do we have a deal? I'll take that and say yes. Hooray, you're staying, you're staying, you're staying. We'll have the greatest time. Bring, bring. Uh-oh, his phone's ringing. Ah, uh, wait, hold that thought.
Now he wants us to wait? Hello? Oh, hi, Vern. You finally called? No, no, I'm not busy at all. Wait, he was busy. He was busy with us. Wow, no way. I can't believe she said that. Do you know how? Beep, beep. Wait, Vern, I have another call. Oh, no, now he's going to be rude to Vern. Hello, Aunt Beatrice, you finally called. Sure, I'm free to talk. They can wait. Now he says we can wait? And me? Well, you know, the usual. Still hanging out in my picture book, waiting for a reader. Oh, yes, one finally showed up. Yeah, seems nice. No fleas. Good steady page turner. He's talking about us to his Aunt Beatrice. Um, um, wait. Where are you going? Was it something I said? Seriously, is there a number where I can reach you? Okay, that bunny's got a lesson to learn. He was so upset with us that it took us so long to get to this book. And he kept telling us that we shouldn't make him wait and that he was you know, it was really hard for him and that we should give him our full attention. And then he got a phone call and he started to ignore us? That was just rude. This bunny has to learn a lesson about being kind and about paying attention to people. And he shouldn't be so upset with us that it took us so long to get to this book. But I'm glad we finally got to it because even though the bunny was a little upset with us, he was really happy that we finally showed up. And I'm glad we could make him happy. Maybe we could teach him a lesson about paying attention. You think we could do that? This was a fun book. I'm so glad we got here. I'm so glad we finally got here to read that book. But you know what? It's time now for all my little bunnies to hop off into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, if you're supposed to be somewhere, get there. And when someone is talking to you, pay attention. Don't be looking at a phone. Don't be looking at a tablet. Pay attention to the people that are talking to you. That's a kind thing to do. And I want you to always be kind. And when mom and dad talk, definitely pay attention and obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.